guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com here at the HTC launch event for the HTC One, previously known as the M7. This is the hotness, this is what we've been waiting for. We're going to take a look at the hardware and the software right now, so let's check it out. So let's start off with the hardware. This is an all aluminum foam, which is pretty amazing because all the other phones out there that have aluminum have plastic parts because the antenna reception needs to come through. But HTC has found a way uh, to have an entirely aluminum phone and it's extremely thin, four millimeters at the edge. Like the Droid DNA, it gets thicker. So it's kind of an illusion, but when you hold it in your hand, it really feels really thin. And over on the back, we've got this ultra pixel cam camera, which is really two four megapixel camera sensors in one. We've got two microphones. HTC claims they have double membrane microphones, so you can actually record at a concert. Really slick aluminum on the top and the bottom. We've got this interesting thing we're calling the G-string here, just this little line that goes down to the camera. Uh, and we've got these white accents. This will be available in white or black. This is just a handsome phone. We've got the volume rocker on the side, and an interesting design uh, cue here. We've got the power button in a different location, the upper left corner. Now let's talk about the software here. We've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 here, uh, which is really the S4 Pro Plus. So this is the S4 Pro quad-core chip, and what we have here is called the Blink Feed. And HTC has done something kind of innovative here. So this idea that you always have content that you want at your fingertips through various sources, you just flick around, on your blink feed, you click on these various stories, it comes up in this little in this little application here, and you can actually configure this. And that's interesting. Notice that the, the clock stays at the top and you kind of pull it down. You tap on those three lines, go to topics and services. Here's all the stuff that you can add. It's a wide variety of items we can add. You can also tap into apps like your calendar, like your Facebook. Uh, this thing called Zoe, which we're going to talk about in a sec. You slide to the right, you can enable and disable all of these different things. Oh, of course, this device has a 1080p screen, 4.7 inches, which means the pixel density is really, really sweet. And beyond the blink feed, you've got a traditional HTC home screen set up here with widgets and so forth, but it looks just so good uh, on this screen. HTC Sense is changed. I'd say that the headline here is minimal. Everything is minimal. The icons, the colors, the textures are flattened out a lot. We get a little bit of a shine on the dock down here, but that's pretty much it. If we bring up the keyboard, look at this keyboard. Very flat keyboard, no shine to it at all. It feels really nice. Let's see, hello, this is a test, I'm not even looking. Not bad, right? And here's something very interesting. HTC has gone with a two-button design. So we've got a home button and a back button. How do you get to the multitask UI? Glad you asked. You double tap the home button, an entirely new UI for the multitask. HTC, listen to customers, thank goodness, did away with that 3D UI, and this is really a very efficient way to multitask. Double tap, and watch this. You can close apps by just flicking them off the screen. Kind of, I guess, WebOS style a little bit, right, Fisher? A little bit. A little bit. Now, if you tap and hold the home button, you would think that it would launch the multitask, but it brings up Google Now. Let's take, around, take a look around some more. We've got our notifications. This is running on Jelly Bean. So we've got rich notifications. And of course, you might have, not you might have noticed that this device has two front-facing stereo speakers, which are pretty loud. You probably can't tell, but let's try anyway. And watch this. A new visualization feature for the music app, which brings up lyrics. This is pretty cool, isn't it? I think most people use music through other third-party services, but for those of you that load your music onto your device, you can take advantage of some cloud services that pulls in the lyrics. That is super cool. Now, let's stop the music and move around some more. We're going to go into the app tray now. Back to the home screen. App tray has been redesigned. It's minimal. It keeps your time and the weather up here. If you tap there, you get to the weather, of course. And you can scroll down and you can, like on the Blink feed, you pull down a little bit here, you can change whether it's alphabetical, custom, or most recent, you can change the grid size. You can hide apps, which is really cool. Now, how about performance? We've got the two gigabytes of RAM, and as mentioned, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600. Well, let's go to the web here. So here we're on Pocket now. Let's check screen rotation speed. It feels like the DNA, but faster. In fact, this whole device kind of feels like the DNA, but better, a lot better. So let's zoom in. See how long text takes to clear up? Pretty fast there. Let's go back to the home page here. We're over a Wi-Fi connection with like 50 million people, uh, so it might not come up that fast, but actually that's pretty good. Let's check for checkerboards. A little bit, but not too bad. That's, that's really good. Let's do a pinch to zoom. Looking really good. There's no doubt that this has extremely good performance. Bouncing between apps. There's so much to talk about here. We're going to go into the camera now, uh, because there are some cool camera features that we have to talk about. So, for example, flipping between front and rear cameras is as easy as doing that, right? 
which makes a lot of sense. Hey, how you doing? Two stunners behind the camera, what up? Um, and uh, it's got some really interesting ways to apply effects. We've got uh, a variety of effects here that, you know, you've seen these before. HTC is introducing this thing called Zoe, which what it does is it takes pictures and then it adds a video to it. So then it can kind of create this storyboard. And we're going to probably do another video shortly demo, demonstra demonstrating that. Uh, but that seems to be a really cool feature. Overall, we are darn impressed with the HTC One. We should say that it, it, it has some design cues from the iPhone, uh, this chamfered edge. And hopefully this chamfered edge doesn't get destroyed like the one on the iPhone. Uh, check the durability report uh, for that. But this is a thicker uh, uh, chamfered edge. It is just hotness. It looks like jewelry. I hate to say that because we said that about the iPhone 5, but it is just supreme looking here. This thing feels like a million bucks. Uh, believe me when I tell you that. There's a lot of features. We're going to have more videos. Of course, we're going to review the heck out of this phone. But for now, a first look, kind of a long look here at the HTC One. That's it for now.